Hello and welcome to the WRFL Footy Show. My name is Kristen and welcome to the first episode of the 2017 season. In this episode we hear from Steph, our Junior Football, football Operations Manager, about the growth of the game in the West this season. We also hear from Libby Birch, a star player for the Western Bulldogs women's team, about her pathway and her experiences over the past couple of months. Let's check it out. I'm here with Steph, Junior Football Operations Manager for the Western Region Football League. Steph, can you tell us a little bit about women's and girls football for this season? Yeah, thanks Kristen. It's an exciting time for the WRFL this year with a standalone junior girls competition in the under 12s, 15s and 18s age groups. This year we'll have seven new under 12, seven new under 15 and four new under 18 girls competitions. So that should show an increase of over 300 female participants this season. And it's a real credit to all the junior clubs out there who have put in the hard work and effort in the off season to promote female football in general. Uh, our aim is as a league to create a fun, safe and enjoyable environment for these girls to hopefully see a further growth increase in the WRFL next season. Well, we can't wait to see what it all looks like this year. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Libby, star player of the Western Bulldogs Football Club. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me today. So how would you describe your experiences over the past sort of couple of months? It's been a whirlwind, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been absolutely incredible to be one of the first, well, the first group of girls to be here at the Witten Oval. And uh, it's been an awesome journey. We've gone through highs and lows, but we have been super privileged to be in this amazing environment and to, to share the club with the Western Bulldogs men's team and to go on this journey together uh, up until the very first inaugural AFLW season has been incredible. Mm -hmm. To get the support we have from the club, the sponsors and the team around us has been something we'll never forget and that very first moment when we walked out onto Witten Oval in front of 10,000 people, I think all of us nearly dropped dead mm -hmm. because we were just so excited and it was just a dream come true. Can you tell me a little bit about your pathway from a junior to, yeah. to now being involved with the AFL women's competition? Yeah, well mine's a little bit different. Uh, I, I wasn't a girl that grew up with NAB Auskick um, as such. I have grown up with a lot of different sports so I was always in like tennis, hockey and netball and I represented Australia and Victoria um, for netball and hockey for a number of years. And then last year I um, hit two major setbacks and I got, got the call from Daisy Pierce to say, do you want to give footy a crack? And um, that was June last year and I absolutely jumped at the opportunity at that point in my life and um, have never looked back. So my message to younger kids now is uh, never confine yourself to anything and always try something new because it's just been an incredible experience here. And how does it feel now becoming a role model for so many young people, especially girls in the West that's yeah. just growing the game? Yeah. So how does that feel? Yeah, it's very, very special. Uh, I think when we see the young girls at the games, it's just, it's so nice to see the brightness in their eyes to, to look up at us and, and think that we're the role models of that new generation. And uh, I think what's really special is that um, all those young boys and all those young girls that grow up now will never think that women didn't play AFL. So I think we're changing that generation from the very bottom which is something that's pretty special because yeah. it's just going to go grow through that generation and it's going to change the way how people speak, how people think and uh, how women are portrayed in the community. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, on behalf of the Western Region Football League, welcome to the West and, and, uh, and good luck for the future. Thanks for having me.